Good morning. Morning. How are you all? Uh, it is Tuesday morning and uh, week is flying along. Mm-hmm. Um, yesterday, good reaction and, and I, I, I seem to have struck a bit of cold with people. The people were messaging going, you know, Bushmills, yeah, I agree. Or Anthony, no, you're, you're wrong there. And what about this and what about that? And so it's good. Let's have conversations about it. I mean, that's what we want to do. Um, and you have to buy it, obviously, as well. From, you know, I, and I, unfortunately, listen to Anthony's rants. Look, they're structured. They're informative. <laughs> they're informative. Uh, today, bourbon, bourbon whiskey. Um, as we keep commenting every month that it keeps growing and growing and growing. And the bizarre thing is we end up shipping an awful lot of it back to the States um, due to restrictions over there. And just, I think, the price point as well. So we, we seem to be fairly competitive on it. But because of that, our range is growing and we're getting more and more bottles in. And I think Irish palettes are now guys who are on whiskey sort of only would have known Jack Daniels for years and uh, you know who who were new to the whiskey world would have known Jack Daniels and are now seeing all the different ones and perhaps tasting some of them as well I do know some of the guys are doing them in bottle shares and stuff like that so it's a great way bottle shares or bottle share groups or societies are a great way of tasting whiskeys well, that, is, yeah without yeah. funding the, the, the full bottle because and all if that you don't stuff. like it like it's a waste one of the things that here's a comment for you is actually uh, a lot of the whiskey societies and our own the Loud Whiskey Society, we seem to be you know doing a lot of Irish stuff. Well, I don't think there's so many of the societies doing you know an American evening or probably around the Fourth of July or something like that. The aviators that, are doing a Scotch one. Aviators doing a Scotch one, yeah, yeah. Actually, so that's that is something. But the, I suppose the problem with societies, not the problem with societies, is time. Yeah. You've only once a month or once every two months or whatever the case may be. So it's it's hard to to shoehorn everything in but on the back of that as I say our our, our American um, contingent is growing and growing well um, you've some old ones that people had know like the likes of the Four Roses so there's three different bottlings from the Four Roses single barrel small batch barrel strength and then the six year old as well they're, they're lovely in the bottles and I, I think one of the things about American is <laughs> what I seem to be seeing with the American market is very price sensitive. They seem to see all these bottles, you know, go into their local liquor stores or go into their local Costco with that and they'll, they'll have a huge range. But the price point on some of the bottles are ridiculously yeah. cheap. And we're sort of going, Christ, we can't even get them at that. It'd be great to get them. Um, Michter's, um, you just commented a second ago, Kitty, uh, on Billions the other night. Um, Wags not, was drinking some w- Michter's? Ma- ma- Wags was drinking, I think it was the 25-year-old stuff that he was <laughs> drinking as well. Um, that seems to be getting really popular. Billions have had that. Dark Gaelic. They had the Dark Gaelic. They had a few other ones as well. So <laughs> that's, it's nice to see product placement. I mean, look, they have to be careful, I suppose, with encouraging drinking. But I mean, guys on Wall Street who are making bazillions, I mean, they've <laughs> got to be drinking stuff. And uh, Knob Creek, another one. Again, the 100 proof seems to feature an awful lot across the, the, the brands as well. It seems to be that sort of catches the consumer's eyes on the shelf that they're looking for something with a bit of smack in it. Yeah. Not smack, obviously. Don't be having smack in your whiskey because that's... No, frowned upon. That's frowned upon, especially in America. Uh, it's uh, something with a bit of a bite to it, something with a bit of a uh, hoosh to it. Um, Tim in New York sent us his barrel pick that he'd done and he sent us that. That was mad hairy chested yeah, stuff. It really, you know, I, one of the things about drinking whiskey all the time, or <laughs> I'm not an alcoholic, I swear, uh, is that sometimes you're drinking so much cast strength and barrel yeah. proof stuff that you really have to reset yourself and you have to go back and you have to go, hang on a second, I'll go back to uh, a black bush, as I said yesterday, was or one of the ones. Jimmy and Ginger. An old Jemmy and Ginger, just to sort of Happy reset Jimmy yourself Ginger. because. You start going, oh my God, or, or you're tasting castor and stuff all the time and everything else tastes a bit washed out and you're going, yeah. it's just wrong, you know. <laughs> uh, Blanton's, as we know, Blanton's always gets a great following. We've that one there and we've a single, another full single uh, barrel in behind it. You like this, will it? Yeah, I was going to hide it, but unfortunately I wasn't allowed. <clears throat> it's not that you're not allowed. You can buy it in the auction if you want, Katie, but you have to bid and, and pay with your own bloody money as well. <laughs> um... It's lovely, isn't it? Lovely presentation. It is. It's gorgeous. Uh, it's really the only problem again on a ideal for a home bar. It's lovely. It's catchy. On a bar back in a busy bar, do they really want something like that? Don't know. Uh, Maker's Mark. 
I just think they're phenomenal. And I was nearly found myself the other day on YouTube watching a video, and the guys just woof woof yeah. woof dipping them them all all the time. Uh, lovely. And again, it's great to see the attention to detail. Uh, rare breed and buffalo tress. Animals seem to be the key thing as well. You want turkeys and, and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Elijah Craig, again, and we've got a few of the Elijah Craig. That's the um, uh, small batch one, and that's the 12-year-old small batch as well. Um, small batch seems to be the key. Again, <laughs> I think their version of small batch and ours might be slightly different. Uh, I you know small batch for us is different audience, Brendan in Cologne, and he's doing 100 bottles, where a small batch to them is sort of 10,000. Yeah. <laughs> Slightly different horse. Um, Woodford Reserve, um, as Sinead was saying, we've got a fair few of the Woodford Reserves in this month. We've got uh, them different presentation. You did say you like that Woodford Reserve as well. It's yeah, funny, uh, it's delicious. Distiller yeah. Select, gorgeous. Distiller Select, yeah, that's the one now. Um, the, here we have... Old Pappy. Old Pappy Van Winkle. <laughs> you can't not say it like that, can you not? Um, You're not supposed to. Look, look... <laughs> The, the the Van Winkle stuff just goes has a hype all on its own. I mean, literally seeing the bourbon groups and the whiskey groups and all that sort of stuff when they talk about that, it is just another level. Uh, the twenty year olds, the twenty three year olds, they just lose their life over it. Ten year olds are doing really really well as well. Fifty five fifty three point five percent. You on your face on my face. <coughs> I don't con- drink alcohol sensibly. Yes. Yeah. Um, we have these two in it, and I mean they've featured in a lot of the auctions, and and they are getting um a, a bit of promo. But the reason is because the, the ties to Ireland. I mean, we've got the the red breast. I mean, obviously the 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 red breast is synonymous with Irish now, Irish whiskey and pot still whiskey, and heaven stored on a tie up with them. That is Dylan. Ding, 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 ding. And his guitar. It's bourbon matured in red breast. Casks. Yes. Uh, you'd wonder how much so influence. Just, it is bourbon. It's not Irish whiskey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you just wonder how much influence the bourbon had. Uh, you know, how much the red breast had on, on the bourbon. On the bourbon yeah. Because, I mean, that, that bourbon on its own you right. Know, I mean, this, why won't crack it open? Why won't crack it open? I, have we not tasted it? No. Have we not? No. You sure? I don't know. Okay. Uh, that's the new 10-year-old from Keeper's Heart, who is Brian Nations, who is O'Shaughnessy's in Minneapolis, in Minnesota. Didn't even hesitate. No, How about that? Uh, Irish whiskey, Irish whiskey finished <laughs> uh, in Malaga wine casks. Uh, so that's um, Brian Nations' one. And then we have the daddy of them all, um, who we would have known him in... <laughs> That was it for years. You had Jack Daniels and Jack Daniels and Coke and Barry loves his Jack Daniels. I he mean, does. there's a bit of Barry's Jack Daniels stuff there, right? Is there not? No, maybe not. Nah. But he does love his Jack Daniels. Um, they're now coming in so many different dresses and incarnations. Some of the uh, presentations are fab. Some of the presentations are fab. Um, single barrel, Honda Proof, Travelers Exclusive. That's obviously an airport only. Single barrel club, and then another one. This White Rabbit Saloon. Um, they're lovely. When you have them in the in the cardboard box as well, and they're side by side in that lovely presentation, um, and then you've got the the single barrel select. That's them old squat bottles. Uh, they are nice as There's well. There's different variants. Uh, variants of them, isn't there? There is different variants, and I, I've been surprised. I've tasted a few of them. I've been surprised how much of a variant yeah, is yeah. in the in the in the whiskey itself. In the taste. Yeah. Um, some of them are really really punchy. Other ones are sort of. Nah. Yeah, really, I, 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 and I, I find I don't like the normal Jack Daniels. I think it needs something, um, but some of the single barrels are really, really good. And then you've this one. This, uh, this, this is pretty. pretty. This you obviously you go for all the pretty things. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. Sorry. Yeah, I do. You picked up on that fairly quick. I have to say. Oh, yeah. uh, this is the Sinatra Select. So obviously, old blue eyes was um a fan of Jack Daniels and I mean he done a lot of promo work with mm-hmm. him in, in when he was alive and kicking. Um but this is one that was done to sort of celebrate their tie up with him. Um and it's in a lovely presentation. A little bottle. The bottom of it is substantial. Look how thick that glass uh, is. Yeah that's metal. 
That is a proper weapon. It's not a weapon. It's a whiskey bottle. Sorry, it's a whiskey bottle. It's not to be used as a weapon. No. Right, okay. It's lovely, isn't it? It's fab. I haven't tasted that. No, but it, uh, the they, they use the words that a lot of the Irish whiskey glitterati hate to see. Oh, smooth. Smooth. <laughs> Uh, but you'll actually see it. It's mentioned in an awful lot of the, the, the bourbon because bourbon can be bottled at two years old um, because of their different regulations yeah, or whatever. Of and because most of the time it's down in Tennessee and places like that where the humidity is higher, the maturation is so much quicker, it just, you know, it, it, it expedites it, that it so much more. It can be a bit harsh. It can be. And as a result of the faster maturation, yeah. nothing replaces time in a barrel. I, I, I'm, I've been saying that for years and years and years uh, a lot of the new make uh, Irish whiskey that we have coming out or the, a lot of the new releases again they're great and you love to see the evolution of in course, it yeah, yeah. but nothing you beats know, beats time in the barrel, in the barrel. Yeah. I mean, you, can't, you can't cheat that and no matter what you do whether, no, whether inner staves or whatever you, these other jiggery pokery things <laughs> accelerated uh, maturation and I mean again in a lot of these warehouses or rick houses the the difference in temperature. I mean, that's I one of the up. huge yeah. differences between Ireland, and that's why Ireland sort of is so good at maturation. Is that it's meh all the time. <laughs> it's just it's ambient temperature the whole time. There's yeah. not much of a difference between winter, summer, day, night, nope. whatever the case may be. Whereas it's a lot Baltic of, the whole time. It's, well, it's not Baltic. It's just meh. Um, but I think it's Baltic. Wear underwear. Carry on. I do. Carry on. Uh, whereas in America, you've got that huge differences between the two. So that's, you know, that's one of the, the differences over there. So that's it. That's uh, our American story for today. Um, you have to bid on the wallet now. You've told everybody you're going to do it. And they're going to bid you up just to make you pay. Yes. And I do not know who's going to pay for yeah, it. Probably me. Yeah, probably me. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, well then, shut yeah, up. Exactly. <laughs> uh, so uh, Van Winkle and a great selection of other American whiskies. And that's us for today. We'll be back tomorrow. Will we do scotch tomorrow? We might do a scotch. There's a fair few scotch. There's a few Japanese oh, there. I just want to Japanese mention as well. But uh, scotch, I mean, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll focus on a bit of scotch tomorrow and a few oddities that we have in the scotch bottles that I've seen there as well. All right. Okay. Cool. Adios, people. Adios. Bye bye. Talk to you tomorrow. Good luck.